of a big business or El Grande CEO. Which one you want? You can have both of them. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take them both. But guess who I got? You gonna take them from? both? Where yeah, you get it from? Guess who I got that from? Where from? You. What you mean? Where from? Hey, look, hey, yo. So why is it so dark? You in LA? Why is it so dark? Are you in Atlanta? No, I'm, I'm on the highway driving. Are you trying to race home? Is that what's happening? You trying to get yeah, home? Yeah, I'm driving. Yeah, okay. I'm driving. All right. Hey, listen. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna jump into it. You know what I mean? We're going to jump into it. We're going to jump into it. Hey, listen. So your sons, Sharif and Shakir, right? Do yeah. you do, do you let them kind of develop their own game, or do you kind of like stare? Are you staring? I let them develop their own game because, one, the game is different. I think because of what I did to your main man, Mutombo, in the finals, <laughs> when you were sitting there all mad at me. Uh, I, 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 listen, only, only time, about, listen, only time I was mad at you... Like, Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said the only time I was mad at you when you hit Matt Geiger with the elbow. That's the only time I've been upset with you. Well, you bullied us. Hey, I, you know what? The statute of limitations up. I did throw the elbow, but the ref <laughs> ain't calling it, so I ain't worried about it. But, I, but, but I was saying because because big guys don't play like that no more. They play their own way. So I let my boys, you know, play play the way they feel they like to play. Cause I always mm -hmm. tell them all the time, you don't have to be better than me. You just gotta be the best that you can be. And that's the only thing that matters. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which one of their games align? Do you think is more aligned with your game? I actually, uh, neither one of them. I kind of, you, you know, okay. when they were being born, I kind of, you know, miscalculated. Cause Shawnee is not short, not tall. So I figured with me and Shawnee, I figured Sharif was gonna be about six six to six seven. So when I was training them, I was training them like guards. All the stuff I saw wow. Petey do, I taught him. All the stuff I saw Kobe do, I taught him. All the stuff I saw D Wade mm. do, I taught him. And then you know, as they got older, they got to meet Kobe and D Wade too. So even though they're big guys, they really have guard skills. And the fact that they, they can do. shoot, I love that. I love. Yeah, that. man, they got they got they got that they, got, they definitely got that Penny Hardaway kind of flow. Both of them, they'll, they'll, they'll dunk on you and they'll shoot that check. It's wet. Yeah, they were. Yeah. And, and Shakira, Shakira will wind up being about, you think, about 6'8? Shakira probably going to be about 6'8. He, he's actually growing because I was watching Shaq Life last night, the last episode, and he looks smaller yeah. than he does now. So, like, yeah, I'm man. looking at him yeah, now, man. like, you know, he, he's, he's, you know, really, really filling out. Yeah, man, he is. Um, You've been, you you probably been more busy now than you just playing ball. What do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy on top of this life, this post NBA life, or the NBA? I mean, I'm just you know blessed to have listened to my parents. You know, my mom and dad did a great job of telling me all the time, "Hey, man, 80 percent of guys when they get done playing don't have nothing. Stop buying them chains, stop buying them watches, stop buying them rims, start right. buying some businesses. Right. Go back to school, get your education. If you want to mm -hmm. live like the guy that owned a whole block." Go, you know, go get the same education that he got. You know, go, you know, find out what he does. How do you get right. to own the whole block and you figure it out? So, uh, I like to, you know, thank uh, uh, my mom and dad for always saying on me. Mm -hmm. how, how did how did Sarge how did Sarge I'm saying influence you and actually do you implement that in your parenting skills today with your kids? Because it's different. It's a different different day at different time. The, the Sarge had a best friend named Ass Whooping. <laughs> that was his best friend. His best friend name was Ass. He had another Whoopin. one. Whoopin. Last name? Uh, Whoopin. Do I do that to my Woo! Yeah, yeah Whoopin. Do I do that to my kids? No, I don't do that to my kids. One, I don't have to. Because they didn't, they didn't grow up in the same environment as we go through. But they know if I need to, right. uh, if I need to get my point across and I make this face right here, they know I'm not mm -hmm. playing. So, mm -hmm. but, you Got know. It. Uh, you know, coming from the brick city, my dad wasn't about no talking. Ass and whooping came in the room and, you know, took Ooh. care of business for me. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so, uh, listen, so let's say young, let's say Shaquille O'Neal's entering the league 2020. What are you averaging? What's your game like? Well, first of all, I'm asking for 400 million. And Ooh. 400 million, yeah, 400 Ooh. million for five years. Ooh. I'm going to get it. I'm, aver Ooh. I'm averaging 40. I'm averaging 45, uh -huh. and my rival would be Giannis. 
Giannis, Giannis would be my rival. Woo! Me and him. Go at it. 400 million? Mm. Oh, yeah, easily. Ooh. Easily. So you say Giannis is the young Shaq today. What does he need in this I game think, to make him complete? I think he's better than me at, at that age. You know, because he gets to do a little bit more with the ball. You know, back when I tried to do that, the coaches would get mad and be like, no, give it to the guard, give it to the guard. But now yeah. he's just taking the ball, going coast to coast. So I think he has a little bit more opportunity than me. But listen, he's, he's, he was faster, longer, jumped pretty higher, a little bit more athletic. So at this age, I think, you know, he was better than I was at that age. Really? So you so would, yeah. would, it, would it be would it be would it be would you put would you put the S on his chest now? Would you give him the S? Yes. Already really? did. He's, Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, already did. Yeah, Giannis Ooh. is yeah, yeah, yeah. Giannis is that guy. I mean, listen, everybody knows LeBron is a Superman, but the Superman title has been held by big men so long. I gotta give it to a big man. Not these other guys that's claiming to be Superman. You right. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. So, Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders both played dual sports. I know that you love football. Did you ever consider playing both sports? I, I actually did play in high school. I wasn't allowed to play in college. Mm -hmm. I would have loved the opportunity to play for the Cowboys. Wasn't allowed the to. Game in the pros. Mm -hmm. Wasn't allowed to. You a Cowboy fan? You a Cowboy fan? Oh, yeah. All day, every Don't day. Do Stop it. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Listen, the cow bum, listen, I love you. Listen, I love you. You know I love you, right? But the cow bums, yes. listen to me. All Come day. on, man. The cow bums, the cow bums, the cow chumps. We're not going to do this. Since 1975. Nope. Oh, man. Come on, nope. man. Come on. Now, I notice you always say that you are the skills. David Robinson, Tim Duncan. Oh, man, please, man. So I notice you say that you wasn't as skilled as David Robinson, Tim Duncan, Patrick Ewing, and Hakeem. But I beg the difference. Right, I would say that nobody, the teams were prepared for you and they were afraid of you. You shifted everybody. You know what I mean? So again, who actually put fear? Who actually put fear in you? I but, you know, your phone, your phone is breaking up. You're breaking up, big fella. That's your phone, boy. You need to check your Wi-Fi. I'm in this panel. I'm, I'm in this I'm panel good. with this Wi-Fi. Woo! <laughs> Talk about it. 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 No, I was. I was saying that's why when I came in, I never tried to be the best big man. I tried mm. to be the most dominant big man. Because you know, think about it, like 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 even now, the term the best gets thrown around too much. But when you mm -hmm. hear the term most dominant, it's only two names brought up, and I'm one of those names. So a lot wow. of guys were better than me. A lot of guys were better than me, had better skills, but I just had to you know go brick city style on them, dominate. There we go. There we go. So also, I heard you say your kids can't touch your cheese if they don't have two degrees, right? Yes. Right. Yes. So if they have if they have two degrees, then they don't need your cheese. So is that a Jedi mind no, trick that you got playing, or what? No, no. If they have two degrees and they want to start their own business or whatever, I will fund them. Mm -hmm. But I'm not just going got now it. because they're eight, three, nineteen. I'm not going to be like, hey, Dad, I want to do this. Give me a million. Nah, you got to know what you're doing. So. You know, like if they uh, that... you know, I... go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, you know, after they get their bachelor's or master's or, or law school or, you know, business school, I know that, that they'll be probably educated to function in this world when it comes mm -hmm. to business. Because I, I, I tell them all the time, it ain't about making the money, it's about keeping the money. True. Facts. Facts. A lot of NBA players get money, they don't keep it. Within five yeah. years, they said the average player is broke. Gone. Broke. So that does that apply to your daughters as well? Does it apply to me? To your daughters? Does it Say apply it to your daughters as well? Does that apply no, to your daughters, daughters as well? No, my daughters can do whatever. That's your that's your phone. I'm clear. That's your phone over there. That's your phone over there. That's you. That's your phone. You're in a bad area. You're in a bad area. Come back. Diesel, where you at? I can't hear you. You back? I'm in Georgia. That phantom, that phantom is sweet, yeah, but it ain't, that Wi-Fi that wi -Fi ain't right. That Wi-Fi no. ain't right. You out there in the mountains. You're right. Uh, my bad, my bad. But, all love. But, but, no, but no, I was saying, 
I was saying my baby girls get to do whatever they want to do. Right. That's what I, I figured that as well. That's why I asked you that. That's why I asked you that. So in, the, in this pandemic, what is the message that you tell your kids? What do you tell them as a parent? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling them now to always be aware, be cognizant of what's going on, mm -hmm. pay attention, continue to be kind to people, continue to show respect. You know, like right now, it's like we're doing a lot of uh, charity work. So, you know, I take my boys with me whenever we go feed some people, do some stuff. But uh, I'm getting to spend a lot of time with them and drop a lot of knowledge on them. Do you, do you think, let me ask you a question, because we come from hum, humble beginnings, and they were very fortunate, you know, as growing up. Do you think it's connected with them the same way? Are you able to communicate to them, that to them what it really, really means to give back? Yes. Or are you just and, doing and it? They, well, well, listen, anybody can talk about giving back, but the fact that they see me doing it, yes, which means I know they're going to do it, because, you know, my parents never talked about giving back. I always used to see them do it. And I'm just, you know, um, you know, reiterating what they used to do. You know, my father always used to go to, to the Salvation Army. My mama used to always take place down to homeless people. My dad always stopped when he see homeless people and whatever change he got, he'd give it to him. So I'm just doing what I, you know, was taught. So, you know, the fact that I take them with me everywhere and show them how mm -hmm. business is supposed to be handled, I know that mm -hmm. when, it, when it's all said and done, that, that they will do it. So you take them to the boardroom and everything, like your meetings and stuff. They go to all your meetings, but well, not all of them. But they go to your meetings. I take my, uh, I take my oldest daughter to some of the meetings and my oldest son. You know, my oldest okay. son, you know, he's been in a lot of the meetings. But uh, Sharif, Shakir, Mimi, and uh, uh, Miara, I really haven't, you know, taken them yet. But like, right. I always come home and like break, break down what's going on. Got it. Got it. The, the NBA in 20 years, how does that look with all these international players coming over and then the NBA and the NFL forging relationships internationally? How does it look in the next 20 years? In the next 20 years, it's going to be overran by little guys. Because even though okay. even though Steph Curry is my favorite player, right. you see, when I was coming out, you had to be a super special little guy. Like AI is a super special little guy. They, they, they don't make him like him. But the way mm -hmm. Steph Curry played, now you got all these little guys getting confidence and shooting from 30 and 40 feet. Right. The game's going to be game's gonna be outside the three-point line. It's going to be a lot of Steph Curry's. A lot of Steph Curry's. So the, so the game as we know it, for big men to dominate the game, that'll no longer be. Yes. No, no longer be. No longer be. Wow. Every, you know what? Wow. Every, everybody's going to be trying to play guard, too. Because think about it. Giannis. Yeah, because I'm going to tell you. This is 1999 or 2001. Giannis would be in the post shooting jump books. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So talk to me about my big guy, my big guy, Joel Embiid. What does he need to do? I have to be careful when I talk about Joel Embiid because mm -hmm. I always use my blueprint as a big man. And my blueprint was to just mm -hmm. dominate inside. But Joel and B has right. the ability to go outside. So every time I talk mm -hmm. to him, I, every, every time I talk to him, I say, "Look, I don't mind you shooting jump You breaking up? Mm -hmm. You're breaking up, big fella. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. Oh, you're breaking up. You're breaking up, big fella. You're breaking up, big fella. Oh, he's breaking up. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Shaq. I can't hear you. See? Hey, listen. Listen. Hey, listen. Let's jump off and come back on. Let's jump back. Off. Let's jump off and come back on because we got to get them back on. Let's jump off and come back on. Let's jump back on and come back on. Let's jump off and come back on. 